Right, final episode of the flatbed build. So Mikey's just gonna stick the new wheels on it and then we'll show you around. Super proud of everybody that's been involved in this build and the outcome. I'm um, uh, yeah, dead off with it. So I'll take you in closer so you can have a good look at the things we've changed. To start off with, obviously, the most significant changes is a T6.1 front end on there, which has been painted in this lovely salmon shade by the guys at Paintworks in Loughborough. It's not off a particular vehicle, it's just a row code out of a book, but um, we knew what we wanted to do. Steve brought over the sample book and this is the colour we picked. It was obviously a very risky one. Uh, but I think it's paid off really well. I absolutely love it. But when I look back at photos and videos, it just doesn't do the colour justice. It looks so much better in, in the flesh than, um, than in pictures. But um, yeah, super pleased with that. So what have we got? Got T6.1 front end on it, salmon paintwork, gone for the commercial look because that's just what we do. And with it being a commercial style vehicle, I just thought it would really work well. And again, I'm super pleased we did that. We've added the lower black, matte black lip that we do for the T6.1 uh, and fog lights continuing through. We've added the T6.1 side repeaters, the uh, sequential indicator ones. Exterior wise still, so the beds had a complete revamp. So completely paint, take, taken the bed off, undersealed the whole lot, painted the sides of the uh, bed uh, black again and restained the hardwood on the top with a more darker finished timber. Uh, it's just a dark decking stain, but just thought it'd be a bit more in keeping with the colour of the vehicle. And then what to do with the stacks, we didn't really want to replace any of the wood because we didn't want to waste any materials. So we thought we'd, uh, what do T5s all have a shortage of? Well, the answer's cup holders. So we thought we'd add a couple of cup holders where the stacks used to be. Ideal for when we're at shows and we want to stick a beer in there. So the stacks have gone that we had on the previous version when it was a T6.1. And Jack Shack fabricated these two exhausts for us both sides, side entry, side entry exhaust, which I just love. I think it really finishes it off and keeps the lines on the back of the bed really nice and clean. So the other thing that's obvious from the rear is we've changed the number plate. We find a T6.1 relevant one, so we've gone with no too low. And that really is just a nod to all the haters we get and people that say our vehicles are too low and they're gonna scrape and hit speed bumps. It's kind of just a nod to them. No, it's too low, but it's not too low for us. So the other thing that's changed and seems to change every episode is the wheels we've been waiting for these for a long time but they just had to go on this so these are the new navis alloys these are called a twin five they are 20 by 9 wide they are t32 load rated in fact they're crafter load rated they're 1050 kilo load rated uh, and we love them so nine all round on this we fit spaces on the back as i think a lot of people would do um, i quite like running square sets of wheels and of course while it was at steve's it had to have the fuel flat removed like we've done on our previous van I think we were the first fans to have this done, certainly by Steve anyway. I know like quite a lot about it done since, but I just really like the nice clean lines and how it looks symmetrical. It matches the other side, yes, it's pointless, and yes, technically when you're filling up with fuel, you shouldn't have your door open, but I've never been stopped by a fuel station, and look, this whole thing's pointless, look at it. So, why not? Oh, I can't forget, transport the HQ sunstrip. There's loads of little details that we've done, like we've added T6.1 wipers, just updated them, because they were starting to look a bit tired and rusty. But yeah, just a few bits to make it really fresh and new looking. I mean, it looks like a brand new truck, exterior-wise. So the outside looks pretty special, but the inside is where you get a real feel for 
how much work's gone into it. So we went a little bit over the top with this, but we just couldn't help ourselves. And Neil at Hadley Trim, when he said he was going to take on the challenge, he wanted to go all out and really show the quality of his workmanship and also make this vehicle particularly special. So again, really risky on the interior, choosing the colour. So we decided to go for genuine Alcantara throughout and went with two colours. The rose lower section and the dark grey upper section. So as you can see, the dash has been completely redone, up and lower all neatly done with a nice stitching line right the way through to the speedos. Glove box has been done, headlining's been done. Pillars, so Mikey's redone uh, pillar builds. Didn't want to go OTT with his pillars, so we've just gone for neat little tweeters in there. So it's full Alpine audio in this still. And just uh, utilize the original tweeters that would have been in the dash and put them into the pillars and just finish them off nicely. So right the way through the headlining has all, all been done, the A pillars and the B pillars. Nice little detail in the back of the B pillars you'll see that there's uh, some of the rose colour just behind there. Changed all the caps for black plastic cap caps. Uh, tidied up the dash, new gear gator, new gear stick with a HQ logo on it. Uh, the steering wheel I absolutely love. So this is the steering wheel that came out of my T6.1, which I changed for a perforated leather flappy paddle one. So we utilised that. We've got a new style airbag with the new flatter logo just because it needed to be new for me. I'm super funny about that kind of thing so the brand new airbag with a new logo that comes on the brand new t6.1s so this is the t6.1 steering wheel that came out of that obviously the multifunction steering wheel controls wouldn't work with this vehicle because it's an early t5 and i have real issues with that hate buttons that don't work so mikey smoothed all this out filled it all and then neil trimmed it all really nicely for us so the upper part is in the dark alcantara the lower part is in the rose coloured alcantara and it just finishes it off the door handles have all been done all been trimmed so neatly with a stitch the Sun visors have all been done. Even the little clips on the edges have all been done. The upper pocket's been done. Even the light switch has been done. It's definitely not gonna to be to everybody's taste, but I absolutely love it. So, a few other quite obvious changes. So originally this had electric window switches here and they were off original door cards that had the uh, adjuster for the electric windows, which, sorry, the adjuster for the power folding mirrors, which um, this vehicle obviously doesn't have. And that always bugged me because it had that little, um, little adjuster there. So we decided to smooth them out and remove the electric window switches and they've been put inside the glove box. So now we have electric window switches just here in the glove box. You've got a uh, left and a right window there. And then you'll also notice here, we've got heated seat switches. So while we were going for a bit of luxury, we thought why not? So we've added heated seats to the driver and the passenger seat. So onto the seat. So these are brand new seats out of the electric van, out of the one that we're gonna convert into a Tesla. So this is, these are brand new T6 seats, T611 seats. And all we've done is Hadley Truman again, he's added uh, salmon coloured stitching all the way around the outside. I really wanted to do away with having like a vinyl finish or on the seats so we've kept the OEM fabric backs and, and on the armrests and then uh, Neil's re-trimmed the centres with a GT tartan with a salmon trimming. So if you've seen one of the previous videos I did mention that uh, I'm a little bit naughty how I got hold of this but the factory wouldn't make us this salmon coloured uh, fabric and, and that's really 500 meters of it so I naughtily told them I had a fleet of fans that were looking to potentially be done but you'll see that salmon color there is actually exactly the same route code as the salmon color on the paint again I don't think the photos or the videos do it justice but it just really nicely finishes it off seat belts have all been rewebbed in a silver to match the seats um, fabric right the way through and then a nice little addition we thought we'd add is the wireless charger so down here you'll see we have added in the passenger seat a rock nest charger so pop your phone on there and it charges wirelessly while you're driving along so inside the driver's passenger seat nothing really changed to the air setup other than we added the quiet compressors which make a massive difference because you should always be really noisy with two 444 compressors rattling around in there and they're they're super quiet like you barely, barely even know they're running airlift control is still in the door card where it was before just all been retrimmed in the matching alcantara so cup holder has been removed out the bottom of the the door there just to keep it all nice and neat and clean lines really nicely finished stitching here that neil's done josh has added a reverse camera this thing thing was always a little bit awkward just because of the bed on the back to reverse it's now got a nice alpine reverse camera that comes upon the screen there so there we have it that's it done excited to get this out to some shows hopefully if this coronavirus rubber shawl blows over and we can actually start showing it off i don't think the photos and the videos do it justice as i've said before 
but um, the whole people, the whole team involved in this have done such a good job. So wheel wise, so like I said, the new Navis uh, twin five wheels. So these are the anthracite ones. We've also got them coming in silver and also in a uh, bronze color. Uh, they'll be available to pre-order in a couple of weeks on the website, uh, but they've come out really nice. Super, super impressed with them. Got some of the interesting wheel designs coming from Navis too and the steel wheels been delayed a little bit more, but they'll be coming soon. So I'm just gonna show you here the four different looks this vehicle's had since we've had it. Uh, and I, uh, I'd like you to comment below which one you think is the nicest. This might not be your thing. You might not like the salmon. You might not like the 6.1. But pick which one you like, whether it was the original skanky Irish truck. I'd be disappointed if anybody picks that. The uh, meteor grey T5.1 look. The uh, chrome yellow T6 look. Or the salmon coloured T6.1 commercial look. So comment below, comment below. Let us know which one you think was the best look it's had. Uh, I do actually really like the version too, but there you go. This is definitely my favourite, 100%. This is my favourite. Steve smashed it with the paintwork. It's done such a good job. The paint, paintwork's done such, a, such an amazing job with the paint. Jack Shack with the exhaust, Neil with the interior, the whole Transport HQ team have really pulled it off to make this thing what it is. Um, Trouble is, I just can't go anywhere there. I can't drive it because I can't put the dog in there. <laughs> and salmon coloured door cards would get ruined with Roscoe in the seat next to me. But there you go. Hope you've liked the video. Uh, please subscribe to the channel, share this video with anybody you think um, might be interested, click the little bell so you get notifications when the next video comes. have got a video coming next week explaining wheels and tyre sizes because there's a lot of confusion there with what you should and shouldn't run, hopefully just help makes it easier for you to pick your right tyre sizes, whether it's 20 inch, 19 inch off-road wheels, hopefully we can help you there. A uh, new test the build video coming soon, making some exciting headway with that. So uh, yeah, that one's coming. Uh, as always, thanks for watching.